Hello, welcome to Retro Tech 100. This is a response video to Real Generic Demon's 10 favourite arcade games. Now, it took me a long time to think about which ones I like the best. There's so many, I had to cut down the, uh, the list, but here's my top 10. A lot of these games I never played in the arcade, I lived nowhere near one. Funnily enough, living in the edge of London, you think I would do, but no, I didn't live anywhere near an arcade. I seem to find these when I've been playing MAME over the years. Some I have played, obviously, and I've been to Blackpool and retro gaming events, but most of them have been on MAME. So here's my top 10 favourite arcade games. First game up is Galaga, not Galaga 88, not any variation of Galaga, just this version of Galaga. I love playing this game. Um, I probably played it on a tabletop in a pub somewhere when I was a kid. I used to have this pub called the, the Rose Hill Pub or the Rose Pub. This must have been when I was about six, and I know it was inside that tabletop. I never liked tabletops, but I love this game. I like the uh, colourful playfield. I like that it isn't too hard. I like how it's, uh, you know, pretty straightforward. I like the patterns of the uh, enemies. If I was going to have one cabinet dedicated, it would be this one. If anybody wants to give me uh, a Galaga cabinet, feel free! Next game up is Gyrus. It's a more back to basics game like Galaga is. And uh, I love playing it. Uh, I'm shit at it, but I love playing it. It's best being in a cab. I mean, I play it on main, but um, definitely best being in a cab. I just like the way it plays. So I've got no real reason why I like it. I just do. So that's Gyrus. Now, Juno First was a new one on me. I hadn't played this until I went to Nurg about three years ago. And I saw it there and I thought I'd give it a go and I was hooked immediately. I've made a video on this uh, on Juno First before. But I like how uh, it's uh, quite approachable in the first early levels where you can back off from the enemies. They're on the horizon. You can see where they're coming from the mini-map at the top. You can warp out of the way. It, it's attainable for somebody who likes to play. And I love the sound effects as well. And the, kind of just that sound. Now, I'd put Robotron in the same like, era of this, but um, the thing is with Robotron, I can't get past the first level, but with this, I can play it for you know, at least five minutes, and uh, I just really like it, because it was one that I'd never played before, so it was a, it's a big surprise for me, and I liked it ever since. Again, Rappalasia was one I only recently found out about, and I like the uh, the waves of enemies, I like that early feel, you notice I like these early games. I'm not big on uh, a lot of the Midnight games, but it's the early ones you like, like Rappalasia. You know, a real surprise to find a game that I've not played before, and uh, I fell in love with it straight away. Uh, the enemies are weird as hell, but that's probably why I like it. So Rappalasia, if you've not played it, give it a go. Next up is Tapper. This is one of the games I like playing with my daughter. It's just a really funny game and uh, I just like how everybody's a pisshead in this. They're really angry about not getting their drinks fast enough. And it's just really fun games, real simple. And my daughter's pretty good at this, so me and, me and her, we play quite a bit. That's probably why I like it. And the graphics are nice. I like how it gets really hectic really fast and it's very funny to play with the young'un. I've also played this one at Arcade Club and it's even more fun on the real gap. If you haven't played Tapper, you're missing out! I'm probably going to get shot for this. The Street Fighter 3 is my favourite Street Fighter. I liked Street Fighter 2 when it came out. I never played it in the arcade when it came out though. I only played it on the SNES and the mate's house. The first time I played this was actually in a shop in Croydon. They had an import shop that a Japanese guy used to run it. And uh, they used to get boards, they used to get Neo Geo boards in, build them into cabinets and um, people used to play tournaments there. And the first time I played this was there. It was actually built into a homemade cabinet. And uh, I think he was charging like a pound for an hour or something. And I played the share of it. I was absolutely rubbish, as I am now. 
but I still loved it. I just liked the fluid motion of it. It felt like it was the pinnacle of an arcade machine, of an arcade game. And I've always loved it ever since. More than I like Street Fighter 2. I also managed to get Street Fighter 3 for a pound on the Dreamcast when uh, they got rid of the Dreamcast to get rid of loads of games. I got it for a quid. I wish I still had it now. Pac-Man is one of the first arcade games I've ever played and that's probably why I like it. Very simple but very difficult. Oh, I'm rubbish at it as you can see. Didn't stop me loving it though and I still play it every time I see it in an arcade. Next up is Double Dragon. I actually played the Master System version before I ever knew that there was an arcade version. That's how sheltered I was. Uh, me and my brother used to play it all the time. But when I played the arcade version, I could see what was missing. The game is much faster on the arcade and much more enjoyable. The weapons are better, everything's faster. I can't believe what I was missing. But brilliant in the arcade, but no recording. Never play Double Dragon on your own. It's two players. If you're not hitting each other in the game, you're missing half the game. So there you go. And who doesn't like a fight to the death over a woman at the end of the game? I love being nice, but my favourite of the Streets of Rage 2 because it's not in the arcade is Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. Me and my daughter play this quite a bit, and that's maybe why I like it the best. Like the uh, oversized characters, and uh, Capcom did a lot of great things. Like, 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 I didn't know there was a Me and my daughter was quite a chance, so you can get the two chicken tickets and we'll watch this. But I'll be carrying on the cash. It always seems to be. The running battles do that more than it is to fight the characters himself. That's a great game, both really enjoy it, and um, I can't stop playing it, really play it. Love the weapons as well, the weapons are great, really big and oversized. It's a great laugh. And who doesn't love dinosaurs? And last but not least, Sega Rally, possibly the greatest racing game of all time. I play this on every console, but on arcade it's the best. Uh, I remember playing quite a bit of it in the mid 90s. They did have this in the Trocadero in central London. I didn't get there much. I had a Sega World. It was very expensive by the time the mid 90s roll around. I think it was a pound to go for the games. But I had loads of Sega Rallies there. And uh, I think once I spent 40 quid on Sega Rally, this is when I was actually having money. My own money, that is. And I played this shit out of it and I've loved it ever since. So, don't let anybody tell you the Sega Rally isn't the greatest arcade game of all time, because it probably is. Head here first.
So that's my top 10 favourite arcade games. Thanks to Real Generic Demon. His video will be in the link in the description down below. I hope more people join in this top 10 list. It's, uh, it was really fun. Quite difficult to think of the top 10. Let's hear yours. This has been Retro Tech 100. I'll see you next time.